Right. Um, so I'm uh, tell you a little bit more about the OBF, the Open Bioinformatics uh, Foundation, the organization that uh, uh, the essence, in the essence, in, in essence, runs this event. Uh, and so I know Nomi asked this question uh, yesterday in the very beginning, uh, but just to get kind of a little bit of a feel for the people in the room here, who in the room, raise your hand if this is your first time at Bosque. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. So it is to you really who I'll speak to for at least half of what's coming, okay? Because for, the, for everyone else who's been here before, um, they've seen this field before. So um, here we go. So what is the OBF? Um, the OBF is a nonprofit uh, incorporated as a fiscally sponsored project and it's dedicated uh, as our mission to promoting the practice and philosophy of open source software development and open science with the life sciences. So in essence, we function as an umbrella organization for the BioStar project, and, um, and what's actually in the works uh, to broaden that and not be just an umbrella uh, for the BioStar project. And I'll, um, I'll talk a little bit more about that, uh, mention that effort uh, later. Um, so as I just alluded to, we're a 501c3 tax-exempt organization in the U.S. Uh, you can donate to the OBF through our fiscal sponsor. And most importantly, everyone who does something within the OBF, runs something, organizes something, is a volunteer. We're entirely volunteer-run. So what do we do? Um, well, for one, this is the conference we run. This is our flagship event. There are other things we do too. For example, uh, there are occasional COPE fests uh, that we organize, um, including one that's typically co-located with BOSC, including this year, um, and that for many years has been organized by Brad Chapman. There have been other events in Europe as well um, it, when the uh, um, meeting was, when the conference was in the US. Um, we also have, been, uh, have served several times as a mentoring organization in the Google Summer of Code on behalf of other projects that um, don't have uh, as much volunteer and manpower uh, to do the administration. And finally, there's some advocacy we do to promote open source and open science principles in open science. And um, as I um, alluded to earlier, right, we accept donations, so we accept and disperse donations also on behalf of our member projects. And we manage their assets, assets uh, including domain names. Uh, uh, just in case you weren't aware, um, we, uh, as much as possible, um, and, and, and we try to push this wherever we go, we do what we preach, um, including using, using open and collaborative processes, even for our internal uh, um, um, organizational documents. So, you know, there's a Google organization and a Google uh, 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 GitHub organization and, and repository where our policies, bylaws, et cetera, are managed and, and, go and undergo the change process. We're governed by a board of directors um, that make decisions about big picture uh, things like strategic directions, programs, um, what we want to invest our resources in, so, so on and so forth, but also discuss actually quite a bit day-to-day -day infrastructure um, and, and operation issues. Uh, our board members, um, as I said earlier, are all volunteers, so here they are. Um, if you're in the room, please stand up. Heather, Peter, Nomi, Karen Cranston, unfortunately you can't be here. Bastian is here. Chris Fields is here. And Yo is also here. So this is actually the first time for a number of years that almost everyone on the board um, was, was able to attend the conference. Um, you know, speak to them when you see them. Ask them about OBF. Uh, um, noteworthy, uh, this year we have board elections. Um, so we have two new board members who joined us just uh, two months ago, and that's Bastian and you. Uh, you know, if you uh, have had it on your mind what it's like to serve on the board, uh, you know, what's the nomination process like, uh, um, chat them up, talk to them. Um, so just a few news and updates. Um, first off, we're participating again in the Google Summer of Code. You'll hear more about that in just a minute uh, from Michael. So I'll, I'll just move on here. Um, the Travel Fellowship is one of our other major programs. Um, and its goal is to grow and diversify our community. Um, our first round launched in March 2016. And since then, we've awarded nine recipients, including three this round. Um, and uh, there are three rounds uh, uh, every, every year. Um, 
on the 15th of April, August, and December. Obviously, the one for April is passed, but the next one's coming up in August. So you look at the program. Um, if you're attending or considering to attend an event that aligns with our principles uh, and our mission and, um, and, and having travel cost assistance would actually make it possible to make the difference between attending or not, uh, consider applying. Um, generally, what we uh, um, focusing on right now, you know, sort of in the more big picture realm, is uh, improving our documentation, including how to get involved, uh, why would you donate, um, and and also the member the project membership process actually, and getting that to a point where it's well documented and ratifiable by the board as well as the membership as a whole. And we have, uh, Yo uh, was uh, diligent enough to put that up as an issue last night as, a result, as one of the results from the Birds of a Feather we held. We uh, have had the same, you know, what I even need to kind of put in quotes, logo, because it's not really a logo, right? But we use it for the purposes for, uh, you know, close to 20 years now, and it's probably more than time to replace it with something that's a little bit more artistic. Um, also, there's you know, lots of stuff going on, actually, that keeps us busy uh, with all volunteer time in the trenches, um, you know, operations, uh, mailing lists. You, you've probably seen the issues we've had um, in the fall last year, uh, the plans for consolidation. So I don't really want to talk about that much more here. Uh, some of you may have noticed that, um, especially the BioPerl and the BioPython being on the lead here, uh, their, their project pages have gone to encryption um, since uh, GitHub Pages uh, supports Let's Encrypt um, for custom domains. Um, and hopefully soon all of our member projects will be there. Yeah, yeah. And so I think I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, connect with us. There are multiple ways to do so. Um, we have a website. We have a Twitter feed. You can please tweet at us. Um, and uh, and uh, if, if, there's a, if you have suggestions, um, you know, feel free to post it as an issue on our tracker. Um, the URL is here where we are on GitHub. Uh, follow our news blog if you want to keep updated, you know, major happenings, um, including the Travel Fellowship Program. And uh, yeah, finally, join us. You know, there's uh, OBF as a membership. Um, um, yes. What exactly membership entails and what it means is not very well documented quite yet. Uh, we're working on that. Um, but uh, suffice it to say, it's the membership that um, is uh, shaping and, and, um, and, 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 and including voting on the directions that we take. Right. Um, so uh, join us. Uh, there's a link right there on our homepage on the left-hand side. Um, it's an online process, meanwhile, uh, no paper document or anything, just fill out a form. And um, if you are attended BOSC, which all of you have, you're automatically uh, deemed eligible. Okay? So I think I want to just, yeah, that's it. Thank you.